rocking with pettyblog.com. I can't be on the petty blog. <laughs> So they already know that I'm dropping the tea. So let's get right into it. Takashi 69, the trolling clown who gets away with everything, has struck again. He thought it was the right thing to do to go on IG right after the passing of PNB Rock, and he wrote in his stories, "Homie d over waffles, crying, laughing." Womp womp. He is so corny, and it's really time for him to be canceled. Like, come on now, what is y'all waiting for? Like, how do the gatekeepers of hip hop tolerate someone so insensitive who loves trolling rappers' deaths and their loved ones even to keep on thriving in this industry? It just doesn't make any sense. But let's take a look at some of what the people had to say. 6 9 laughs at the death of PNB Rock on his IG story. He did the same to Pop Smoke and King Von. Will he ever stop? They offed PNB Rock, but let bums like 6 9 still roaming and moving like this? Streets been effing d shaking my head. Ninjas took Vaughn, PNB Rock, and Pop Smoke, but not 6ix9ine. I will never understand it. 6ix9ine, a clown making fun of PNB Rock, that God, take 6ix9ine and give us PNB Rock. I don't wish that on nobody, but y'all ninjas killed PNB Rock while he was eating peacefully, but let 6ix9ine live disrespecting Nipsey. I'm starting to see that Charleston White is right. Hey, the dumb, stupid ass n Like, out of all people, you off PNB Rock? It's ninjas like 6 9 walking around, George Zimmerman still alive, and you off PNB Rock. That man didn't bother anybody, not an effing soul, shaking my effing head. How do y'all ninjas off PNB Rock and not effing 6 9 I hate this world. So as y'all saw, it's mainly people wishing bad on 6 9 and by no means am I saying that that should happen, not at all, but please think about this. 6 9 trolls and tests all the gangsters in Cali and literally begs them to come and get him whenever he's in town like begs them to come and do it if they so tough and disrespects them to the Maximus but every time he steps foot there, nothing, right? Yet PNB, who never, ever, 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 ever disrespected them, never trolled them, who stays quiet, who minds and goes about his business, who was just trying to live and survive for his kids, and who was catching brunch at 1.15 p.m. Cali time. That's who they come for? Wow, it says a lot. It shows self-hate to the core, for one. That ninjas are really crabs in a bucket, and sorry, not sorry, honestly, punks, just like 6 9 said they were. And it also shows that ninjas be giving 6 9 that white privilege. I'm sorry to bring race up because he's clearly not white, but we all know that a lot of black people see anything that skin tone as white regardless that he's Mexican, okay? Let's be honest here. Somebody had to say it because we all know that if 6 9 had been one of them, that he'd been gone a long time ago. Blacks don't tolerate each other, but give him a pass. Again, by no means am I saying that it should happen because it shouldn't. I would never wish that on nobody, but we can all see loud and clear what is happening here. The Cali thugs took Pop Smoke for nothing, they took PNB Rock for nothing, and then we have 6 9 What did Pop Smoke do again? What did PNB do again? Other than live out their dreams, nothing. Like that'll never make sense to me. These types of ninjas that did that to these innocent rappers are punk ass cowards, type of ninjas that their own people don't want to be around. I really hate niggas. I'm a and before y'all correct me and say it's not the same thing, please don't forget that George Zimmerman, who also has a Latina mother and a Caucasian father, has that privilege, okay? Let's talk about it. So as far as 6 9 having a Mexican mother and a Puerto Rican father who is clearly not you know what, because not all Hispanics are black, not all Latinos are black, let's be honest, let's not pretend, and clearly that's not what 6 9 is, yet y'all let him get away with saying the n-word. Every time, in y'all faces, like what? I'm talking about the gangsters who, you know, check everybody else for things, so basically what I'm saying is 6 9 and George got the same privileges. And I'm not making it about race, I'm just showing the facts that y'all bother each other for nothing, okay? But yeah, let's go back to the story. I just have to say that 6 9 takes everything that any rapper says about him personal, no matter how big or small. Mind you, he's in their industry, culture vulturing off of their music, pretending to be what he's not, especially when he got in the industry. Yo, yo. I'm just saying. So as we saw with Dirkio, when he simply said, please do not play that little boy in the club, we do not listen to rats, he held that against him for life and trolled him for King Vaughn and for his brother's death. And as we saw with Pop Smoke, all he simply said is that he didn't have to change who he was and get different hair colors to pop, that he popped being true to himself. 6 9 held that against him and trolled his death. 
when nipsey called him a snitch which is exactly what he is he held that against him and trolled nipsey's death so it just doesn't stop so when it comes to pnb rock here's what happened about 110 weeks ago two years ago in 2020 when 6ix9ine posted y'all be like free the real and keep the fake god answered y'all prayers which was him trolling treyway and the nine trey gang that helped him make it that he ratted on who were still locked up yet he had gotten free by using covid as an excuse to get out of jail you know using his so-called asthma as a get out of jail card which actually worked which is crazy because he was not the only person locked up with health issues that covid would have made worse i'm telling you that privilege but that's a whole nother topic but yeah back to pnb so under that post of 6ix9ine trolling pnb commented and said if he gets smoked my life will be made no kizzy to which 6ix9ine commented and said you fell off the face of the earth and that was that but you know he clearly held on to it after these years and trolled his passing I'm not making any excuses for what was said, but clearly PNB wrote that out of frustration from seeing constant disrespect from 6ix9ine to the black community. That comment was made in July of 2020, so he saw 6ix9ine troll Pop Smoke stuff and bragged about putting the same people that helped him become 6ix9ine in jail while he's free. So yeah, I mean clearly he's not right in the head though, but that's still not an excuse for him to keep on doing what he's doing. Tell these niggas stop dissing me from hell and <laughs> what you talking about? A lot of people want to say, yo. Why are you always around a whole bunch of security? Why, why your favorite rapper dead right now with bullet holes in his face? What the f is you talking about? Why is your favorite rappers getting shot in the f face and all that? Huh? Favorite rappers getting shot in your face? I'm gonna give security to me. Y'all ain't gonna RIP me. Y'all not gonna put me on the t shirt. Should've had security on me? Talking about, oh. 6 9 b with security. Duh, nigga. What you think I want to be these dead niggas? You think I want to... You think I want to be added to the who died? That's a dub, nigga. Y'all going to hate me before I die, nigga. That's a dub. Nobody getting caught up. Getting shot at. Are you dumb? And for those who may have thought it's because P&B linked with Jade, 6 9 s ex or whatever, it's not because of that. They did not link. She was just an extra in one of his videos way before she even dated 6 9 so So yeah, I'm just bringing you guys the facts of why this clown said what he said about P&B Rock after his passing. And it's still rest in peace P&B. But what are y'all thinking? Do y'all think that 6 9 will ever be canceled for his constant disrespect of a community that he culture vultured off of? Niggas envy, uh, blinky got the stiffy, uh. We want to know your overall thoughts, so leave them below. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to this channel for more. And don't forget to hit that bell to join the notification gang. Pettyblog.com, signing out.